When we drop and now we start our drive, we want hip internal rotation to occur naturally, right? This is where we can kind of talk about the, the hip capacity and how some individuals need to look at their movement in regards to their breakdowns, not necessarily a motor control, they just lack the movement. So when hip internal rotation occurs naturally, you're gonna see this new, what? <laughs> this knee shoot kind of down, right? Hip internal rotation. And then you're gonna see this foot turn. Now this is something that happens relatively early compared to everything else. I hear a lot of people talk about delaying the hip rotation. And it's like, no, we want the hip rotation to occur naturally and early, all right? So once this can kind of occur, then we can get into that pattern of our trunk hasn't moved. Now we can create separation, right? So we don't want to get into a pattern of dri uh, driving and almost jumping. Like I said, the hips are gonna elevate. So if the hips elevate, now our energy is either happening early or it's happening up, okay? And if it goes up, then we're susceptible to this pushing arm action that we see a lot of times. At least this is something that I'm speaking from experience with working with clients and younger guys, is if we jump with that lower half, now we're gonna elevate our trunk and we're gonna get more prone to pushing that ball and leading with the elbow. Instead of sinking with the hips, internal rotation, now we can match plane and then pull that arm through and launch, right? So I think a lot of the misconceptions regarding the, the hip mechanics make sense in terms of what they're feeling as far as feedback. As I mentioned, you're feeling pretty powerful with that drive, but what happens as a byproduct isn't really what we're wanting, right? You look at any high power output pitcher and their hips are sinking at the level of the slope and they do a really good job of maximizing the amount of internal rotation that their drive hip has. Not going early, not going late, but on time. And now when we, when we accomplish that and we sink, now what happens, right? Especially for guys that have a crazy amount of internal rotation is now their energy is going linear towards our target, not up, okay? So we want linear energy. So we want to maximize that linear energy and the mechanics of that hip drive and hip extension. So then we can maximize how hip extension, this is a whole nother video, <laughs> hip extension occurs on time when the arm comes up to arm raise, right? Um, but yeah, that's something that I wanted to break down for a while because I've been seeing it a lot, but just know that we're not, we're not driving, there's drive happening but we're not driving off the mound, right? We're, we're dropping and we're getting into our drive phase. And then as a byproduct movement of having the movement space available, internal rotation, separation, pulling the arm through, extension, hip extension on time as the arm comes up, maximizing that kinetic sequence all the way up through. So. All right, well, hopefully you can take something from that if it made sense to you. If not, until next time.